Uh, my name is Harriet Angwech. I come from Gul University in Uganda. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Biology, Faculty of Science in the same university. I'm a parasitologist by training and as a parasitologist most of my projects uh, revolve around the epidemiology of parasitic infections, uh, trying to unravel the host parasite interaction and environmental factors that influence the prevalence of infections in the community. I grew up in a family of teachers. My parents were science teachers. And so in the house, they would always encourage us to study sciences. When I joined the university, I joined to train as a, a science teacher, but immediately I completed my vice, I made it to the vice chancellor's list of the best performing students of the year. And uh, my vice chancellor asked which course I wanted to study. And I told him I was interested in parasitology and I was sponsored to study parasitology at Makerere University in Uganda. Then I got an opportunity to do a PhD in agricultural technology and biotechnology in the University of Molise in Italy. And there I studied the effects of uh, pro and prebiotics on gastrointestinal parasites. Whereas in Europe, in the lab where I was working, I was working with my age mates, but I was the only one married with children because of the cultural setting in Africa. There's a level beyond which, you know, people will not expect you to be serious if you are unmarried. A family comes with children and responsibilities. So at the end of the day, you are actually trying your best to balance and it's not always very easy. And yet these are some of the functions that you as a woman, you have to fulfill, but then they are not factored in um, when you're looking at the career success of a woman. I got to know about the Open Doors Fellowship Program was through an email from Rufora. I saw the component of mentorship and that aspect of the program being mentor-led is actually what motivated me to apply. As a scientist, I want to believe that if you have the right mentor to help you believe in yourself, you can always get over your fears and make it. Soft skills like communication skills, organizational skills, um, really these are not offered, offered by the universities, but this program uh, brings with it as a package. It's not very common that you get a program that packages everything in one the way the Open Doors Fellowship Program does. For my short research stay here in the laboratory of parasitology, I've been trained on the latest uh, development in the diagnostic field. And uh, we've looked at uh, the most appropriate survey designs that I can apply when I go back to my home country. In my home country, researchers are underfunded. So in most cases, you don't have an opportunity to learn a new skill, which this environment provides for me. And then uh, the diagnostic methods that I'm learning from here are not in my facility. And fortunately, my PI is going to provide the equipment for the, um, the techniques I've learned here, so that when I go back home, I can have them in my lab. We have discussed with my PI what we are going to do uh, in the next phase, which takes place when I go back to my home country. It involves, among other things, designing a small project. And then we've agreed that we identify students to work on that project, and we co-supervise, and we help the students to progress to the level of a PhD. Yeah, and then from that point, it will help support the student to get a scholarship, and we continue. This way, we, we, we maintain the collaboration that we've initiated.